What's up guys, Daniel here from idolaman.com and today I'm going to be teaching you how to write a C++ Hello World application. I'm going to be using Visual Studio 2013 but feel free to use any IDE. I'm going to start off by going to New Project, Visual C++, Win32 Console application and then we got to name it, we'll name the project Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube 1. We'll go to next, empty project, and finish. Alright, so here's our project. And first thing we got to do is add a CPP file to the source files. So how we do this is we right click source files, click add, and then click new item. Go visual C++ CPP file, and we'll name this also whatever we want. Hello and there's our file. The first thing I'm going to write is some essential code we need for a hello world application. It's not going to make sense to you if you don't know C++, so just ignore it right now. You'll learn it later. First, I'm going to teach you how to write comments. In C++, you could write one-line comments and multi-line comments. To write a one-line comment, you'll do two backslashes. And then you can write your comment. To write a multi-line comment, you're going to want to do a backslash, a star, and then a star and a forward slash to end that multi-line comment. So as long as it's in between this and this, it's a comment. If you're not familiar what a comment is, a comment is just code that is not compiled. It's just for the programmer. So let's say you wrote some code a couple months ago and you forgot what it is. You would have a comment saying, this is the code that does x, or whatever that code does. It's just like a reminder or a note to the programmer. So let's delete that. Alright, now if we want to output hello world, we need to write C out, followed by two less than signs, which is called the insertion operator, and then we could write a string in quotations. We'll write hello world. And every line in C++ needs to end in a semicolon. And that's it. So now I could run this program. And there you go. Hello world. Now see how it's connected to the press any key to continue? Let's change that. We could change that by adding a space at the end of hello world but that's still going to have press any key to continue on the same line. We want to end the line after the hello world. So to do that, we could do it in two ways. We could add slash n to the string, which is for new line. Another way to do it is c out insertion operator hello world and then another insertion operator and the end l. This stands for end line. So both of these will do the exact same thing. Now let's run it. And there you go, hello world, new line, hello world, new line, and press any key to continue. So basically, you just need to remember you write C out, followed by insertion operator, and then the string in quotes, ending in a semicolon. And that's it. Thanks for watching.